Uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, today is Saturday the 24th. It is 8.50 in the morning. Uh, I just want to do an update on this solar stuff. Now, I've taken the cap off of this circuit here with the flexi panel because it was clearly um, limiting my maximum voltage out. So, I've got that on the 10 times scale, on the 10 volt scale, and went off the chart. There is over 80 volts there. So I'm just going to flip this probe over to the 10 times scale. And even without full sunlight, in the shade from my uh, I'm still getting 170 volts. You see there, it's a 17.6. We can times that by 10. Okay, so it's just um, just over here, it's a bit brighter. And that's not full sunlight, there is a bit of cloud. Mm, up to 180. Off that 1.5 volt solar panel. That's not bad. So, I've got some bigger caps here. 400, 270, and a 315, 680. I don't know, I think I might just put the, um, I actually found another 25 volt one that goes up to 2,200 microfarads, I might put that one on there. Ooh, something just happened. I think I just burned out a transistor. Oh, there it is, I don't know what happened there. Hmm. That is strange. Stopped ringing and I got all little spikes. There it goes again. So you see when I move my head around and cause that shadow to change. Interesting. Doesn't hear that ringing. I also thought I'd give that other little circuit there a go in direct sunlight and see what voltage we actually get in the cap because we didn't check that before. We only checked what the panels were putting out. And look at that in direct sunlight. Two panels, 11 and a half volts. Now that's designed for low starting, not for high voltage output. So that's pretty cool. Well, yeah, I'm having a bit of a think about this. I think I'm just going to um, put a larger cap on there and hook it straight back up to my solar and see what happens when I turn those volts into amps. I think that transistor's really not liking the um, direct sunlight. I think she's getting hot. Yes, that transistor is warm. Okay, I'm going to pull that out of the sun now before I kill my really expensive 2N2222A. And I'm going to put the other capacitor back on and I'm going to hook it back up to my little battery bank up here. And we're going to see if we can put some charge in through the day. It's a single panel. Okay, thanks for watching.